Hello, my 3D printer peeps. Hello, members and Patreons. I'm here with the Bamboo Lab H2C. Today, we are going to connect a second AMS2 Pro. Yes, you may also use the original AMS. The installation process is exactly the same. Let's get this over with. Here we are looking at the back of the H2C. We have one AMS connected. That AMS is connected to the four-way splitter into the right extruder input. There is a six pin going from the machine to the rear of the AMS. This should be your current setup. We are going to add a second AMS. Your AMS2 Pro came with a six pin cable. This is not the same cable that came with your original AMS. You may also install an original AMS. However, if you are installing an AMS2 Pro, please use the AMS2 Pro cable. This cable was engineered to handle the power requirements of the heating function of the AMS2 Pro. The AMS1 cables were not because there was no heating back then. Take that six pin cable, pick a port on your AMS and plug in that cable. Connect the other end to the first AMS2 Pro or AMS in your setup. Insert a PTFE tube into the rear of the AMS, pick any port on the rear of the splitter and insert the other end of that PTFE tube. When using the drying function, any additional AMS2 Pro requires an AC adapter if you plan to use the heating function at the same time. If you are okay utilizing heat on only one AMS2 Pro at a time, you will not need the AC adapter. With your AMS connected, two, three, or maybe even four, we need to confirm a few things. The first thing to look for is this stable light. If your AMS are blinking red, you have a problem. With this light stable, pop over to your H2C screen. Here on this screen, let's confirm your AMS are connected. Touch the filament icon. Only one AMS is showing. However, a new AMS is connected. It says so right here on the screen. Touch it. Touch OK. Touch Auto Mode. Load one filament in each AMS. For this demonstration, I've got two AMS. I will load both of those. While you can use third-party filaments for this setup, I would go ahead and use Bamboo Lab filament if you have it. Return to the screen and let your AMS finish doing what they're doing. When they're done, go ahead and press detect. Your H2C is going to send filament from the AMS all the way to the tool head. For each AMS you have connected. When done, press OK. The H2C is now happy to show you both AMS. I installed black and red. Here on the home screen, you will see both AMS. With all this done, your H2C is now set up for eight materials. I'm Mr. Greg, and you're on 3D Rundown.